All right. The whole idea is this is a battery cable and this is a welding cable. This is four gauge, this is two gauge. Internal resistance and voltage drop is directly related to the number of strands of wire within the cable and the thickness of the strands of wire within the cable. So therefore, the higher the strand count, the thinner the strand, the better the current carrying capability. I want you to feel this one. That's what a lot of people use or did use. And it, so as you can feel, and it's pretty hard to, to wiggle around. Whereas this is like a wet noodle right here. That's a that piece, a piece of mama's spaghetti right there, right out of the, straight out of the pot, all right? So, if you notice too, and it's kind of hard not to notice, this has got 65 strands, and this has got 850 strands, all right? So for me, being in the battery game, many times when people call, uh, like, hey, I got your battery in the car won't crank. And I'll say, what kind of cable do you have? I don't know, you know? Or many times people will have too much cable in the car. They're trying to conceal it, make it look bitchinized, and look, oh God, it looks cool, but you got way too much cable in there. So what we've purposely done is we purposely put too much cable in the car, just to give you a, a sample of, of what it shows, like, like on a voltmeter. What this voltage reading right here is gonna show us the voltage feeding the solenoid on the starter motor. The more voltage you can get to the starter, the happier it is, the longer it's gonna live, and the faster it's gonna spin over the motor. Plain and simple, all right? So, this is with a cable that's too long. I'm gonna flip the switch. Okay, so 6.0, okay? Now all I'm gonna do is get that distance using the same four gauge cable to the appropriate length, which is about 12, 13 feet. So I'm gonna flip the switch, okay? 7.3 volts. So just by changing the length of the cable, we picked up 1.3 volts at the starter motor, all right? Now this is the other cable. This is the two gauge cable. So we've gone from the four gauge battery to the two gauge welding. So we were 7.3. Now we're gonna go to the two gauge. 8.7. So we just picked up another 1.4 volts to the starter motor and a traumatic increase in cranking RPM. I mean, it, it, there's no lying about it, all right? So, let's go back over here to the four gauge, and we'll watch the reading again. Okay, 7.3, 7.2. All that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hook up a ground cable that goes straight from the starter motor to the frame. But in this case here, of course, I don't have a frame. So what I'm gonna do is I run the cable from the back side of the starter through a master disconnect switch over here, and then it goes down to the battery because it, this right now the battery is essentially my frame, okay? So we were reading 7.2, 7.3. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna manually turn on that ground, all right? 8.6. So we picked up a, a bolt and a half just by hooking up a ground wire to the starter.